Hello Supercet Maniacs and welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since we haven't done a footage comparison on this channel, so I got something special for you guys today. We have the Alien 2003 Mr. Olympia Ronnie Corman going against probably the only bodybuilder who can even dare to challenge this version of his, 2009 Mr. Olympia Jay Cutler. And I'm saying this because even though there were and still are other great bodybuilders uh, throughout the Mass Monsters era that uh, some of you might uh, think can do better than Jay against Big Ron, maybe Phil Heath, Kai Green or Big Rami, however Phil and Kai might be too small for O3 Ronnie and Big Rami does not have the muscle quality or dryness Ronnie Corman had even though he matches Big Ron with size. And then there's Jay Cutler, the man who actually defeated Ronnie Corman in 2006 for the Olympia title. But we all know that wasn't the best Ronnie. But guess what, that wasn't the best Jay either. 2003 Ronnie Corman vs 2009 Jay Cutler is the matchup we all deserve to see and I'm pretty sure you've seen this comparison before. But I'm also sure you've never seen it as you're about to do in a few moments. 03 Ronnie vs 09 J video footage comparison. Unfortunately, we don't have great quality footage for these shows. Actually, that stands for all bodybuilding uh, contests in general, especially the ones from the 2000s and before. However, I found some decent footage from the prejudging of uh, these two shows. I slightly adjusted the lighting and the contrast so it would look more similar. And without further ado, let's get to the poses. And we start with the front double biceps pose. As you can see, we cannot judge the smallest details like who presents the better cuts. However, we can make an idea on how these two incredible physiques would have looked standing next to each other. Ronnie Corman is obviously taller, however Jay is wider with a more eye-pleasing midsection, in spite of the blocky waist. Ronnie has the more impressive guns, but Jay matches him pretty well at this department, as I believe his biceps are very underrated. Jay also looks harder than Ronnie, However, Ron is virtually impossible to be defeated in this pose, his only flaw being his unesthetic midsection. But if there is someone who can hope to challenge him in this pose, that someone is Jay in my opinion. Moving on to the front lat spread, Jay has the advantage of being wider again, however Ronnie's lats are more visible and his chest looks better with those cross striations. However, in the video footage it becomes very obvious that Ronnie was not hitting this pose in the best way. First of all, he lifts his uh, shoulders way too high, making it look like he does not have a neck, and he also holds his legs too straight, looking somehow weird and uh, disproportioned. These kind of details are only noticeable when watching the footage. Of course, Ronnie Corman looks better overall, but may get penalized for his uninspired execution, especially when it's close like in this case against Jay Cutler. Next pose is the side chest and it's pretty difficult to go against 2003 Ronnie Corman in the side chest. Jay looks good here, don't get me wrong, but uh, Ronnie is just too much I believe. And speaking about too much, obviously Jay is hopeless when they turn around, but let's not put this on Jay only. It's true, Jay did not have the best back ever, but no one could stand a chance from the back against O3 Ronnie. Just look at how much thick muscle he has on that back, and it becomes even more obvious in the rear lat spread pose, where uh, Ronnie simply slams the door on Jay Cutler. Ok, in the front poses Ronnie came on top but it was pretty tight, back poses were all Ronnie as well as the side chest. Ronnie already won the matchup but I don't think anyone expected anything different, however the side tricep is Jay Cutler all day. I don't know if some poses should count more than others, 
But if Ronnie destroys Jay in the back poses, Jay does the same with the side triceps and the abs and thighs. And also look at Jay's quad stomp. This is definitely something that not even King Coleman can hope to beat. In the most muscular pose, things are tougher than everyone expected, right? Jay had a tremendous most muscular pose in 09, definitely his best in his career and one of the best of all time. I really think the most muscular could go either way, even though Ronnie is the favorite again. Aside from the poses where Ronnie is rarely the favorite, namely the side try and the ebb and tie, Ronnie kinda won, won it all, but Jay Cutler did more than well in this comparison. I'm not saying this version of Jay could beat O3 Ronnie Corman, but it's definitely one of the very few and probably the closest one that can dream to try to defeat this monstrous version of Big Ron. What do you guys think about this comparison? Let me know in the comments below. Also like this video if you want to see more footage comparisons. Subscribe to the channel to stay updated and as always, thank you guys and see you next time.